Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. Now today's video, what you are seeing behind me is the Spotlight Turret. Now this mod is in very early development so it does have a lot of problems but I felt it did need to have a little showcase video because this is something that I know a lot of people have been after for a very long time. So it's a little turret, it's essentially a rocket turret that has had its combat capabilities removed and replaced by a spotlight. It behaves identical to any other turret, so it can target players, meteors, ships, and all the likes like that, but it'll simply just point its beam towards them so you know where they are. So it's not a lethal, it'll just display when an enemy is nearby. Now like I said it is very buggy and the developer has been very clear about how buggy it is and it will be fixed later on. So the beam itself comes out the turret, it doesn't always follow where it's going unfortunately but that would still be ironed out and it does not need ammo. When you actually use the control panel you'll notice that sometimes it will ask for ammo. No it doesn't, you just need to reload your game and it should work. If you are getting flickering with this mod you simply need to save and reload and it should resolve the situation. If you are getting no light from the turret, once again save and reload and that should fix it. But what does it do? If I come over to my lovely chair over here and press I, we should now have nice controls to play with. So it's identical to a turret like I said before with what your controls can do. You can turn off the idle movement if you only want it to detect other players missiles, small ships when they fly past so you know where exactly they are, or if you just want the idle movement on, perhaps you make it a casino or something like that, you can leave on for that. So you can have it target meteors, missiles, small ships, large ships, characters and target neutrals. So there is a little problem in that regard with how it targets enemies and allies like that. For example, I've given that to the space pirate but it has no interest in me whatsoever, it's just going to shoot off into the distance despite it having enough power to run and it all being connected up to my little base over there. Don't you mind those turrets and rockets over there? That is none of your business what my nuclear silos are doing. So if I bring up the menu, let's see how much it costs, which is something I always forget to do in these videos. So we have two options here. We have the large turrets, which is what you're seeing there. It costs 15 steel plates. 10 construction components, 12 computers, 16 motors, 6 large steel tubes, 5 metal grids, 30 construction components, and 5 steel plates as a base. Which is relatively cheap, it can be a bit expensive if you are doing a survival playthrough and you want these on early on, but for what they do, it does seem rather nice. So if I now wheel this back to me, for some reason it wants to go quite a long way away, we now have the small spotlight turret, which is very, very affordable, look at that. One steel plate, one construction component, in fact, it's one of everything the large turret had, which is exceptionally cheap if you're building a small ship. So the purpose of this spotlight compared to the conventional spotlights is to essentially target anything which comes nearby in case you're not really paying attention or someone's trying to sneak up on you, you can have this turret just basically put them in the spotlight, which is kind of ironic to say considering this is a spotlight. So if I plop down a new turret on there, it's been updated and the light is actually going to work this time, excellent. So if I come over to my little chair over here, press I, come to control panels and search for the spotlight. There's a spotlight there, I can now take control of it. Controlling it, unfortunately you can't really see the beam and if you left click it does say it's out of ammunition but that is simply remnants of when it was a missile turret and there's nothing you could do. So if you do want to say spot something for your allies, whoa that's zoom, that's, that's rather impressive zoom over there. You can just point the spotlight towards where they're coming from if you want to guide them in. You could even use this to guide small ships over to your base or you could put these on a small ship, large ship and have it as some kind of spotlight drone to fly over an area and see if it detects any hostiles within that area. So anyway this is the spotlight turret, there's not much else to talk about it, it's still very early development but it's still pretty neat with how it moves around and detects stuff. The light itself coming off it doesn't really seem to light up anything if I come over to, there's the menu and make it nighttime again. You see it doesn't really light up the area like a traditional spotlight but you can see it from very very far away. So if I come back all the way over here past this little turret that I made to test the missile script you can see that from quite a distance. It's rather impressive actually. So I've moved myself quite far away from my base you can sort of see the um, rocket ship that I was building over there and you can just about see 
the little light coming from the beam. Yes, it does stop moving once you move a certain distance away because that is just how Space Engineers works. And if I come back closer to it, it should start going to its idle movement once more. So anyway, this is the Spotlight Turret. It'll be in the description below if you want to try it yourself. I'll be back with another Space Engineers video some point soon. Bye bye.